All right, and over here we have the most important piece of the trailer, the turtleback ball opener. with Turtleback Trailers. Um, over here we have our flagship model, the, the Expedition. Um, in the back is the kitchen unit. Um, so if you want to take a look over here, storage compartments, our, our pantry system, um, which is really nice for compartmentalizing everything. You can have your, your, your dry goods, your coffees and everything kind of all set up and ready to go at a moment's notice. Campers, your trailers set up, you pack clothing and food and, and off you go, you hit the trails and you're out of there. Um, no more forgetting that tote at home with the all-important coffee. Uh, so a lot of storage place for your pans, pots, um, and all that. Standard features at this point is the partner stove, which is a 10,000 BTU cooktop. Um, so guaranteed to boil that water in no time. 10,000 BTU, it's the best stove on the market and it's the only one we use. A sink's also a deep dish sink, so you can get your pots down in there and get them washed. Uh, some storage space underneath the sink too for your towels, soap, and utensil trays fit in the drawer over here for all your knives, forks, all that stuff. And what sets us apart a lot from the other trailers is obviously the surface area that you got here for prep space. And then if you want to take a look underneath, um, we developed an Icon suspension in collaboration with Icon. So this, you'll only find it on a turtleback trailer. Uh, we set the dampering and all the spring rates and everything with Icon designed for our trailers, which really sets it apart to give us a great, a great ride. Um, that is almost a must upgrade if you're gonna be buying a trailer. It, it's amazing, it's, it blows everybody away. What's really nice about it is actually when not just on the trail it, it absorbs all the bumps but when you are going down the freeway at 65 miles an hour or 75 miles an hour and you hit a, a wash in the, in the road a little bit the trailer just sits behind you it doesn't bounce bounce around like a torsion axle or a or an axle system would coming around to look at some of the storage a brain box and control panels um, essentially we've got our main main battery cut off our remote switch for our Dometic water heater. So the unit carries 42 gallons of fresh water plus six gallons in the water tank, in the water heater. So effectively 48 gallons of water. Remote switch if you're running an, in, an inverter. So 110 if you want to run some of your appliances. Um, so we can put those in, it's an option and has a remote switch to turn on and off from here. Um, charging ports for standard cigarette lighter 12 volt and USB ports so charging all your electrical equipment. Uh, exterior lighting all the way around the trailer, interior lighting above and below any of the shelves and inside of the storage compartment, kitchen lighting over the back, and turtle lights just because we like turtles. Uh, we'll show you to you when we get to the front there. Accessories are your charge ports, turning those on, and a safety switch which we build into our system is the propane safety switch. Um, so in order for the propane to work, the drawers have to be, the top pantry slide has to be fully closed and the bottom drawer has to be fully out for the propane to, to flow through and just turn it on. If any of those drawers open a little bit or close a little bit more, it'll shut the propane off so you don't burn down the house. Uh, water pump and a spare if you wanted to wire something else in yourself. Um, more storage in the front, it's the through pass storage. Uh, we have a water tank behind that divider over there with a turtle cut into it and in the evening, it's backlit with green, so you can see your see your water level through the toilet uh, through the through the turtle over there. So up front, you have your shower compartment, so it's a quick connect shower unit, and then you can adjust hot with the cold water here and set up a tent uh, for showering. And electrical. This one's currently set up with a dual battery system, shore power charging, inverter, and a Red Arc DC DC converter. So from this side of the trailer, you've got a, a bat wing or rhino rack bat wing, which is a, like a 270 degree awning, goes all the way around over the galley, which is really nice, gives you that shade. Um, back into the storage over here, through storage, 
So the same unit all the way through. So you can get in there. You also have access to the back of the water heater. So like I said, a Dometic water heater, six gallon, uh, which gets you nice and nice hot water for your showers and your sink. A little bit more storage on this side of the trailer. What I like to do is put my safety equipment in here, first aid gear, so you know where it's at. It's always right there and accessible. Wheels and tires, standard is a 16 inch uh, steel wheel with a 265 all-terrain tire on it. Uh, we can go anywhere up to 37s on them um, with a little bit of modification, but 35s run on it just fine. On this side is an accessory propane tank, so it's an additional five pounds. Standard would be 11 pounds. On the other side, which is plumbed into the unit, and a swing out, which we use a, a spare hub for your for your wheel system. We use a spare hub in case there was any issues down the road. You could replace that and a swing out with a spare tire on the back. The rack can fit any rooftop tent. Uh, we also have a pole storage tube if you're wanting to carry extra uh, poles for awnings or fishing poles or anything like that. You can store them in there. Um, any other features you want to bolt on, we have points where you can bolt them on. This rack also has behind you a table storage compartment welded in, which will fit two uh, standard six foot camping tables, which is really nice because they're awkward to carry around camping and where do you really put them? So we designed that and put those in there. So you got a lot of surface area to sit down and prep food and, and do all that kind of fun stuff. Awesome. Thanks for your time. Yeah, no worries.